Hey, what's up? It's Taku here. Welcome back to my weekly blog. Uh, last week I caught a COVID-19. <laughs> it was intense. Uh, two, two weeks ago, my, my daughter caught COVID from uh, her uh, nursery school. And uh, we, uh, my wife and me, uh, took care of her and uh, we, <laughs> we caught it as well. And 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 we took a break and now we have recovered now. And I I, I was so scared uh, about uh, getting a brain fog, uh, which is one of the after effects of COVID. Uh, but the, fortunately, it, it seems like I don't have uh, any brain fog at the moment, uh, which is nice. So I'm free back uh, to my work. Now, so let's talk about uh, the new release of the Inkdrop Mobile. Uh, so the new version is out, which has a new feature uh, that I've been working on. And this is a PDF export feature. So here is a release note. And the, as you may know, I've been working on supporting exporting as a uh, PDF, and it is now available on both Android and iOS iOS, Android and iOS. <coughs> yeah, I, I still have some cough. Uh, my throat is uh, kind of not uh, very well uh, yet. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty tight. And uh, it also has uh, UI performance improvement. And so when you change the rotation, device rotation on the tablet, uh, it quickly uh, transforms the UI layout. So it's been fixed. And also it has a bug fix, which is about uh, uh, editor. Uh, so when you try to remove the note title by holding the backspace button, uh, so as you can see, uh, the, the cursor position uh, jumps back to the 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 beginning of the line so <laughs> what what is happening so it's been resolved as well thanks for reporting uh Bizkex. yeah and the next up and uh, the next up is uh to support share extension uh on ios and uh, share target on android uh what is this uh on mobile, a lot of users have requested a feature that allows them to share a link to Inkdrop. So, for example, yeah, let's say you are uh, browsing a uh, web page like Stack Overflow or uh, a GitHub project page or something like that, and you want to take a quick note. But uh, Inkdrop country doesn't support uh, sharing a link to the app. And uh, so I. I so most apps uh, support it, like uh, you can quickly uh, uh, send a link to the app uh, by pressing a share button uh, on Safari. So it will be useful to also support on uh, Inkdrop. So here is a user, so here is a uh, feature request. Uh, it's been <laughs> five years. And uh, so he wanted to uh, so a link to a website open in he, he wanted to uh, quickly share a link to the ink shop but currently uh, he ha he has to or you have to uh, click share button in browser and select a copy to clipboard on the open ink shop and click, click new note and paste copy the text into one content and uh, blah 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 so it is annoying to add a, add a note with a link so, as a user, uh, he's a uh, Jimmy uh, requested the same feature uh, for iOS. So he says it'd be nice to be able to share a web page or anything else with Inkdrop to save it for later, uh, like it's done in the second brain methodology. I'm not an adept of second, bra second brain, but the capture phase is interesting and uh, I think it'd be profitable for most people on the go. 
Yes, I agree. So this feature would be helpful for quick, quickly taking memos on web pages that you are currently viewing in a browser app. So I often conduct research and get inspiration on my phone as well. So supporting this feature is be definitely great. So I direct to support uh, this feature. Uh, so I'm gonna work on this feature. And uh, first, uh, I'm gonna work on uh, for iOS. And I've been uh, researching how to implement it uh, on the React Native app, uh, so because it's not a it, it's it's not a pure native app, so you have to uh, you have to find how to implement it uh, with React Native, and so it, it's not so popular. Yeah, because uh, uh, the, the, the the React Native app has a, a entry point, but that is a single entry point, so. Share extension is another process, and uh, you have to initialize the new initialize the new process for the share extension. And uh, so, on on the React Native app, uh, you have to initialize a React Native instance uh, for the share extension as well. And I don't know how to do that uh, at the moment, but uh, uh, I found uh, a good good example. Uh, that is a, a bookmarking bookmarking app that is called Raindrop, and he they have a mobile app that is uh, built with React Native, and uh, yeah, as a bookmark bookmarking app, uh, 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 the share sharing a link to the app is uh, 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 very important. And uh, so I found that uh, they have a share extension feature uh, like uh, this one. Uh, so as you can see, it has an extension dot entitlements and the share view controller. So it'd be nice to look into it. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into the, uh, their mobile app. Uh, this is a web native app. So let's see the package.json. So you can see uh, it's a React Native app uh, on version 0.91.8. And uh, yeah, it uses WebView component and so on, React Navigation. Yeah. And I don't know how to how they implement loading another, uh, another instance of React Native on the share extension. And uh, so, so here is a share extension um, view controller. And um, the, uh, so this is uh, in, written in Objective-C++. Uh, so this share view controller and uh, extract data from context. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. What does the that what 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 does uh, close extension in its cookies? So it looks similar to the uh, a regular regular app delegate because it has uh, also requires main main queue. I I, I believe it, it has so yeah. So my app has app delegate and. Um, it's on the React Native React Native 0.71, and uh, so it loads the main bundle, JS bundle here, and then the URL for resource main main the JS bundle. Yeah. So their app also rolls the JS part of here. And the, yeah, so it also loads 
the JS bundle in the share view controller here. So it has a source URL for bridge method, same as the uh, app delegate. Uh, that's interesting. So extension, extension, extension. But how do they? Mm, chase, chase, bundle, sure. Mm. Root view. Okay. RCT app setup default root view. Uh, uh, my project is my project uh, no longer has this method. Uh, so how to specify the default root view? Mm, uh, I don't know. Mm. Mm. So register component app extension. Mm. App name app dot json. App dot json. Hmm. Module name. Okay. I, I, I believe, I guess, uh, module name is uh, So it specifies the, uh, the, the, the component name uh, for loading the, uh, this component, app component. So app name, the, the variable app name uh, is inkjar app. And uh, you have to specify the same ID to module name. So to load the, uh, a component for share extension, uh, you have to create another uh, component like extension, and uh, you have to specify uh, the same name to module name, like so. I guess it's it's right. So let's try the, yeah, let's try it. Mm, yeah. So I don't know about the uh, view from React Native. Thank uh, is and uh, yep. view text, hello. And uh, flex one. I guess it should work. <coughs> Lemon type is invalid. Expected string for. Uh, got object. Mm. What do you mean? Uh, all CT view and text element type is invalid. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, let's create on the file extension the TS not TSX and uh, let's move this component uh, to here and uh, no. Yeah, it works. Uh, so, so line item center, line item just justify content. Yeah, so it works. So the module name matters. Uh, so if I change this back to ink drop, it loads. <clears throat> so it rolls the app correctly. Well, so I think uh, it should be possible possible to create another uh, view controller that loads uh, uh, the extension component uh, in the share extension process. Yeah, uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a productive day.